Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Rides. It's currently the camp version of National Novel Writing Month and as I am tentatively participating this year, I thought I'd dedicate some time to this month to my current project. This week I'm going to be doing the work in progress tag which I currently can't find the creator of but if I do find them I'll leave a note in the description. This story is one that I've been writing on and off since summer of 2015 and I already have blog posts and videos of the playlist about it, so I'm glad to finally be updating that playlist for the first time in so many years. Let's begin. What is the working title of your book? The current and hopefully final title of the book is There Will Be Other Summers. The original title that I was convinced was going to be the final title was just Heart, which says absolutely nothing about the book except a metaphor that I never included, and now set on it being the final title for the bulk of the years I've been working on the story. During those years I merged what I had of the story so far with another project I was considering working on but then abandoned and that one was called The Improbable Probability of Changing the World Tonight, a title that is inconvenient but I'm still awfully fond of, so there'll be a reference to it and the idea that inspired it somewhere in the book. Where did the idea for your book come from? Who or what inspired you to write the book? I'm mashing these two questions together because they're asking a similar thing. This book is about a blind boy and a deaf girl who meet in a talking therapy support group and get partnered up in a team building activity in extreme summary. I'm not entirely sure how all the pieces fell into place, but it started with thinking about how there was a surge of mental health representation in YA fiction five plus years ago, but I still hadn't read anything about physical illnesses or disabilities. These stories are coming into the mainstream a lot more nowadays, but I hadn't really seen one blow up across the book community back then. I decided I wanted to write about someone who was blind and how that would affect their life. I wanted to write about someone who was deaf and how that would affect their life. I wanted to put them together and watch them become friends. I then put the idea on hold for a year or two or three, because I soon realised I had a very black and white understanding of blindness and deafness, only really understanding blindness as zero vision and deafness as complete hearing loss, rather than the full spectrums that they are. I took some time to read and watch diversity for as many perspectives, specifically own voice perspectives, on the topic as possible to broaden my understanding and to use my personal feelings towards my disability to add to the emotional side of it. What genre is your work in progress? The Will Be Over Summers is a queer young adult contemporary about the complexities of disability, discovering the wrong ways to be not okay, and how platonic soulmates can change your world overnight. There are romantic elements but no romance plot and it's heavy on exploration of mental health and self-identity. There is own voices, asexuality, mental illness and disability representation, although my specific disability is not represented on page. Yet. Choose the actors for your movie rendition. Any actor I have in mind is too old. It's a book about teenagers and I'd want them to be played by teenagers rather than just people in their 20s pretending to be younger. I live in the bubble and have no idea which teenage actors are about right now outside of the Percy Jackson cast. Also, since I wrote the script for a hypothetical film adaptation of Paper Forest for my final university project, I've learned not to become too precious about parts of the film that will be very unlikely for me to have any control over. I just need to write it and hope for the best about anything that comes after. One sentence synopsis of your book. Asher and Rin are forced to form a bond after becoming partners in group therapy as a desperate attempt to bring some light into their lives, starting with writing letters to each other. No one expected a third letter. However, my elevator pitch is something that I mentioned earlier. Perfect for fans of Alice Oseman and Turtles All the Way Down, there will be other summer that's a queer way contemporary about the complexities of disability, discovering the wrong ways to be not okay, and how platonic soulmates can change your world overnight. And hopefully that says more about the book than the sentence about the plot. What's your first sentence or paragraph? Here's the first full paragraph, because why not? There are over 700 songs on Rin's iPod, yet he can't find one that fits his mood. From the bench at the peak of the cliff, Wind tears at his jacket with prop singers crewing love in his ear, or Rockers disguise their anger with contagious guitar riffs that he would never learn to play. Out of 700 songs, not one of them manages to portray the overwhelming numbness that he feels. Not one song can replicate the feeling of being empty. Will your book be self-published or represented by an agency? Traditional publishing continues to be the biggest dream of mine, but I still don't think I'm ready. As much as I'd love this to be my first traditionally published book, I think the process of acquiring an agent and querying would take a while if it does happen, and I'm too desperate to put this story out in the world. There are a series of stories that I want to write before pursuing traditional publishing that are too close to my heart for me to relinquish any creative control. It's important for me to be able to choose the title and the cover and design the interior of these ones. I also just really enjoy making books and doing more than just writing them. How long did it take you to write the first draft of your manuscript? I'm still in the first draft phase, but I'm hoping to complete the draft or at least make a significant amount of progress by the end of the year. 
I am a notoriously slow writer. My overall aim was to write 50,000 words over the course of the year, which averages out to be something close to 150 words per day, as I wanted small, achievable daily goals. 150 words is around a paragraph for me. Small achievable goals also remove my fear of a deadline. I love deadlines until it comes to writing. I work great under pressure until it comes to writing. I love these things because they give structure to my life, but they just don't work at all with how my brain works when it comes to writing. What other books would you compare the story to? In my opinion, it's perfect for fans of Alice Oseman, in a radio silence kind of way, and fans of John Green in a Turtles All The Way Down kind of way. There are similar themes and vibes. However, as this book idea was conceived around 2015, it feels appropriate to compare it to a few more books from that era that are probably inspiring in some way. Undone by Cat Clark, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, and Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. And I think that's all I have to say about this book. It feels good to be talking about it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to post more videos throughout the year talking about this book and how much I love it and the process of creating it. As I said, I love to make books. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.